I was humbly on my knees crying out to God, why do children suffer, why do people only look at the broken cracks in the heart, I have all my life lived in sorrow and pain. Does a man like me need to help those that cannot help themselves? I tried with my ex-girlfriend, just to help her through the struggles she was attacked with, her mental condition, but I failed, she took a different road, I know, I can be very psychotic at times, and my humor is very dark, and sick, but my heart is pure. It is not my desire to hurt your heart with my foolish activities, but sometimes I tend to offend people. I'm far from perfect, I know how acting psychotic has caused my life to strain in and out of reality. I do trust in the Lord Jesus Christ with all my heart, and I know that by his blood I'm saved. My dark twisted sense of humor and my evil thoughts that I like to express does not make me hellbound because Jesus died for my sins and I put my faith and trust in him. I'm not bound to sin, but I'm free from death. I know Jesus Christ loves me, and I'm saved. I do not think, or cry for only myself, I ask, that God would help those that do not have the gift of everlasting life. I cry for the weak, and the sick, I would ask, that God would touch your heart with love, and help the entire states of America to find economic stability. I then will ask God to help the whole world by touching each, and every heart with his warm loving kindness. I hope we as a nation of psychical people, souls, and spirits, can join together under one powerful movement of passion, compassion, and love, to make this life not only worth living, but to be kind, and heartfelt, to the cares, and concerns of our fellow man, and women, in pure and congenial love. If one person can make a difference with negative behavior like I do, then can't that same person make a difference with positive behavior as well, cannot each, and every one of us make a positive difference. God does not just fix the world, God gives us the power to fix the world, and it starts with me, and you, it starts in the human heart. God does not make you love, God does not force choices on you. God only puts thoughts and feelings in your heart, it is up to you to decide what you are going to listen to. The voice of reason, which is the voice of God, or the voice of chaos, and evil, which is Satan, the choice is up to you, don't take it from me, I'm a Hippocrates, and a fool, I'm full of crap. Listen to your heart, listen to the voice of God through my words in this testimony, there is a heaven, and a hell, and you must decide which path you want to take, to spend eternity in heaven, or hell, the choice is yours, 